The morning sun spills its golden hues over the terracotta rooftops of Florence, while the songs of the sparrows weave a delightful melody. As the rest of the city slowly rouses, I, Niccolò Machiavelli, have already begun my day. The first light of dawn finds me at my wooden desk, feathered quill in hand, absorbed in drafting a treatise or penning a diplomatic letter. The room is filled with the scent of ink and old parchment. Shelves laden with scrolls and manuscripts cover the walls, and the flickering candlelight casts shadows that dance upon them. My responsibilities to the Republic of Florence have honed my skills as both a diplomat and a writer, and my work often blurs the line between the two. Breakfast is a simple affair, usually shared with my beloved wife, Marietta. As we eat fresh bread with olive oil and sip on Tuscan wine, we discuss the day's affairs and the political intrigues that are ever-present in our Florentine life. Marietta, a keen observer of human nature, often provides insights that aid my political maneuverings. Post-breakfast, I head to Palazzo Vecchio, the heart of Florentine politics. The grand edifice stands as a testament to the city's past and its aspirations. Entering its marbled corridors, I'm immediately consumed by the cacophony of voices, diplomats arguing, scholars debating, and officials hurriedly discussing matters of state. My duties as a civil servant encompass a variety of roles. Sometimes, I'm entrusted with the delicate task of diplomatic negotiations with foreign powers. At other times, I oversee the Republic's military campaigns or its internal administrative affairs. Each interaction, each negotiation, is a chess game. One must know when to be the lion, using strength and ferocity, and when to be the fox, using cunning and guile. This dance of politics has taught me that virtue and vice are not static, rather, they are tools in the hands of the one who knows how to wield them. The midday sun is often spent at the Piazza della Signoria, beneath the shadow of Michelangelo's David or beside the powerful Neptune fountain. Here, Florentines of all walks gather to converse, barter, and, most importantly, gossip. Information is a commodity, and in the busy square, it flows freely. Listening to whispered conversations and engaging in strategic dialogues, I gather the intelligence needed to navigate the city's treacherous political landscape. Lunch is often taken with fellow statesmen and scholars. Our discussions range from the mundane to the philosophical. The revival of classical knowledge in our Renaissance era has led to a flowering of ideas. We debate the merits of ancient thinkers and how their teachings can be applied to our modern context. These lunches are not just about food for the body, but nourishment for the mind. As the day wears on, I retreat to my personal library. Surrounded by the wisdom of antiquity, I engage in my true passion, writing. My experiences in the volatile world of politics have provided me with unique insights into the nature of power, leadership, and human behavior. In the tranquility of my study, I commit these observations to paper, producing works that I hope will guide leaders for generations to come. Occasionally, I receive visitors, young students eager to learn, seasoned politicians seeking counsel, or even artists like Leonardo da Vinci, with whom discussions leap from the practicalities of war machinery to the abstract realms of human potential. Evening settles in, and Florence, the jewel of Tuscany, is painted with hues of amber and crimson. As the city lights up with torches, I make my way home, often detouring through the winding streets to enjoy the serenades of street musicians or to watch a play in a bustling square. Dinner is a time for family. Together with Marietta and our children, we share stories of our day. Their laughter and innocence serve as a poignant reminder of why the stability and prosperity of our beloved city are so essential. After dinner, I may entertain a few close friends with wine and philosophical discussions, often stretching into the wee hours. As night deepens, and Florence sleeps beneath a canopy of stars, I retire to my chambers. But sleep does not come immediately. Instead, I reflect upon the day's events, the decisions made, the alliances forged, and the lessons learned. In this ever-evolving dance of politics and power, Every day is a lesson. As I drift into sleep, 
I am both humbled and invigorated by the responsibilities entrusted to me. For in this age of rebirth, every action, every word, and every thought can shape the destiny of our great republic. And so, with the promise of another day on the horizon, Niccolò Machiavelli rests, ever vigilant and ever ready to serve Florence once again.